Welcome. Have you ever wondered what your music would feel like with a proper light show? Well, then this video is for you. We'll teach you to add synchronized lighting to your tracks using ZGame Editor Visualizer's DMX output capabilities. DMX is like MIDI, but for lights, fog machines and other hardware. In fact, some DMX lighting does use a standard 5-pin connector as well. Most, however, will use 3-pin XLR. While we're on the topic, let's talk about the hardware you'll need to make this happen. We've compiled a reasonably priced list of gear, but anything you get with the specifications we are about to explain should work. First, an NTEC USB DMX interface with five pins, which will be available in the visualizer for talking to your lights. A DMX cable that has five pins on the male side and three pins on the female side, and a DMX light with stroboscope effect, RGB, tilt and rotation. If this looks complicated, don't worry. We'll keep things simple, so even if you're just starting out with FL Studio or DMX lighting, you'll be able to play along. Let's start setting up the hardware. Before you connect anything, there are a couple of things you should do. In this case, we want the DMX light to be on a 9-channel configuration. Plug the light into the wall and press the mode button until you see the small screen read something like 14 channels or 9 channels and then press the up button until that too reads nine channels. Then press enter. You're good to go on the light. Now we need to make sure your computer will recognize the NTEC interface. We'll provide a link to this particular driver installer in the video description. If you choose a different DMX controller, you'll have to get your own driver. Once that's installed, you can plug the USB cable into your PC and you're all set. Now grab the DMX cable and connect the 5-pin end to the NTEC interface and the 3-pin end to the DMX light. You now have your DMX light configured and the NTEC interface connected. Now it's time to jump into FL Studio and get those lights moving with your music. For this video, we assume you already have FL Studio installed. Open it, then press F9 to open up the mixer. That's where we'll add the ZGame Editor Visualizer plugin. It's an effect plugin, so it will live on a mixer track. We'll add it to mixer track number one in this case. Right click an effect slot to open up the plugin picker. And there it is. In ZGame Editor Visualizer's settings tab, check the button that says enable DMX output. Here's the list with all detected DMX devices. Select the one you have connected. If there is two options for the same interface like here, going with the Open DMX variant will work better. Check the debugging log. If you have connected everything before enabling DMX output in ZGE, you will see a message saying DMX opened OK. If you clicked on Enable DMX output before all cables were connected, then it'll say DMX failed to open. In that case, connect all the hardware and restart FL Studio. Once you've done that, go to the main tab and choose Hardware from the drop-down. Then DMX Control. Each channel here controls one property of the lights. Rotations, red, green and blue LEDs, white level, strobe effects, tilts and so on. Here's what some of them do in context. Nice! Now you can right-click these sliders and create automation clips. Automation clips allow you to automate the movements of controls over time. Press F5 to view the playlist. That's the clip you just created. See our tutorial on automation clip editing for a closer look. Here we'll skip forward to a simple demonstration of some of the controls for this DMX device in context. Each DMX device has a different layout of controls attached to each channel, which will be explained in the device's documentation. The first automation clip is linked to channel 1, Pan. This means the light rotates along the Z-axis. Now let's tilt it up and down with channel 2. We've turned on channel 7 as it's the white dimmer, so the light that we'll see here is white. Channel 3 in this case does multiple things. From 0 to 2%, the light is turned off. 
3% to 52% acts as the master dimmer, but then 53 to 93% controls the strobe effect from slow to fast. And at 94 to 100%, it's at the brightest intensity. The red dimmer responds to channel 4. The higher its value, the redder the light. Channel 5 is the green dimmer. And channel 6 is the blue dimmer. You can mix the color channels to create the illusion of different colors. You don't have to use automation clips. You can use all of our internal controllers to automate these controls too. Envelope controller, peak controller, and the surface tab inside ZGE to name a few. You can also map the controls directly to a MIDI device. Now that you know what each channel does, let's automate these controls in context to some music. We've got Entre Tres by Astes already rendered out and loaded up in the playlist with contextual automation. With this tutorial, you should be able to do this with your own tracks. Enjoy the show. Happy music making. Desde la noche en que te vi, supe que sería para mí, ella, tú y yo, calentándonos. Y de atrás, disfrutándonos toda la piel, volviéndonos en el placer de vernos, comernos. Tú y yo rompiendo el tabú Entre cuerpos enredados Media luz, no hay límite El mundo lo pone tú Hoy gozamos esa inquietud Que tienes de todos al más Tocarte y sumar esto Un participante Que te dice la piel al rozar Tu cuerpo Y embriagarnos en placer Los tres juntos al amanecer Con pieces para Complacer Tienes lo tuyo y quieres ver cómo se sienten dos adentro a la vez Mata la timidez Bajo la mesa rozan una y otra vez Se ve que quiere, él sabe Y yo también busca la excusa Para en privado tocar tu piel Después tu cuerpo caer la miel Con mi pecho al tuyo arder Yeah, yeah Entre los dos te vamos a hacer